Nothing but net runners and cyberpunks. No help here. Go, stay, think. That must be Decker. You're Decker, right? I'm. Ah, oh, you're late, I know. And you're just as sorry as last time. Now, you better start acting natural, because that guy behind you. I had never seen him before, and I sure don't trust how he's looking at you. He's looking now? I, I can take him. You can do what I say. Now, I don't know how you fried that CPD, Mary Jane, but it's toast. Come on back, we'll pick you out another. Come. Sure. Thanks. Out here. So, you're Dex. I have no idea why Raycast wants you safe, but now you're my bag. And trust me, if anyone else had sent you here, you'd have hit a locked door and a no way kid I'm not interested. So don't go telling your classmates you found out where Grandpa Help All lives. You lucked out on your guardian angel. Raycast called me. I'm your help, and right now that means I'm your out. You don't know who Raycast is? Listen, Raycast was behind some of the biggest leaks and scandals of the past 15 years. Not a corner of the grid has kept him out. If any one person is the hacker movement, it's him. Some say they've met him, but they're trolls with tails, every last one of them. No one has. Raycast meets you, and most times, you don't even know about it. If Raycast is involved and wants my help, you can bet your bottom credit you got the complex on your back. You don't know what I'm talking about, do you? Okay. The complex is an off-the-books organization. The click of all clicks. Pick a Megacorp, Samio, Armagear, Trust DNG. All have a tie to the complex. Boards of directors, subsidiaries, shareholders, you name it. You won't find a politician so much as cross the street without the complex giving a walk sign. But who are they? No one knows. And that's where the hackers come in, digging for faces, looking to expose. But the complex is protected with a capital pro. Pissed off the wrong guys, kid. I don't owe him. I don't even know him. At least not personally. No one does. Every underground ticket from here to escrow Jag knows what he can do. When Raycast reaches out to you, there's something big going on. You can bet on it. And, let's just say I have my own reasons, too. Crooked, ruthless, yeah. Mistakes, not their game. If you're targeted, you ain't nobody. Wait, hear that? Nothing, that's my point. Bar's dead silent. You gotta run. Go through that back door, head towards Taijo, China District. Find Tony. He's a friend. He's got a hideout. You should be safe there. Don't worry about me. I'll hold them off. Find Tony. The building with the Chinese fortune cat. Now go!
to where is this place? Oh, this has got to be it. People don't come here. You, Tony? Decker said you had a place to hide out. I'm here to hide out. Decker? Look, if you're in trouble, I don't want any part of it, okay? I'm in more than just trouble. Tony, please. Decker said you'd help. Oh, man. Can't a guy run a record in peace? Okay. Okay. We'll talk. Just talk. Where is that grain grid runner anyway? And why didn't he flag me himself? Dad? This can't be happening. Who the hell's after you? Look, I like breathing. Hear that? That's me. Happy, okay? Now, get out. Raycast? You... you know Raycast? You're tickling with my gully balls. Who in Chili Chow Main are you? Tony! Open up! It's Decker! Let me in! You made it. Should be safe here for now. No one ducks radar as good as Tony. Quack! Not my first rodeo, kid. I was jumping busts for years as a hacker, back in the day. If you don't trust me, kid, come right out and say it. I was prepared, all right? I knew this day was coming. Just thought it would be my ass they were after. You know what they say. If you ain't got ideals as a kid, you're missing a heart. But if you still got them as an old-timer, you're missing a brain. I took a step back is all. Lead the rodeos to the young blood. I opened Fixer's Hope. Made my help from the sideline. Jeez. Shouldn't we talking about how to save your ass right now? Ha! <laughs> what? Cause I still shower? Give me another year and I'll blend right in. Look. I built a network of compadres back in my hacker days, and one day I opened a joint for them. Nothing more to it. Then every hacktivist and cypherpunk in the city barreled in like it was a Sameo firewall. Flesh meats, trades, you name it. Quick became the kind of hangout the complex don't much appreciate. My people ain't short on thinking, alright? I keep illegals to a minimum, and any speak going on is as hushed as a CIB case file. Yeah. Fixer's Hope ain't gonna be reopening anytime soon. I need to lay low. Complex don't like it when bust comes to fail. It's not just you they'll be after now. Nah, it was dumb of me to think I could just step out of the game. I was always going to get the recall someday. If it hadn't been you, it would have been somebody else. Sure. What else you need to know, Blue? Or are we done gabbing? Don't worry about Tony. I've known him for years. We ran ops together. He was a regular at Fixer's Hope. He's only there from here. Guess it'll just be here now. What do you mean? You're the Raycast Connect here. You had the cyberspace me. Just jack back in there and... Show me your neck. What's this? This ain't a jack. Neck plate? You're wearing freaking ornaments? We're not on a catwalk here, sister. How the hell can you not have a jack? How did you plug into the network? What are you talking about? Without a jack, you ain't jacking in. Now, I don't know how you were in C-Space, but if you can't flag Raycast, we're gonna need a way to do it ourselves. But Raycast isn't exactly in the telephone book. 
he comes to you. I sure hope he's not done with you, kid. Tony, can you put a beacon out for Raycast without the complex tracing it? Is that doubt in your tone? You need to be changing up your tonality. Cause Tony's been slipping across the ice more than a penguin in... Slippers! Yes! I mean, yes, I can get Raycast a message. Oh! Why? We got contact! It's Raycast! No doubt about it! It's his crypt sig! How's my hair? You're wearing a hat. Oh, yeah. Hello again, Dex. It pleases me to see you alive. And hello to you, Decker. You proved me right in entrusting her to you. Glad to hear that, as it looks like I just lost my livelihood. I wish there had been another way, Decker. But trust me when I say, this is worth it. Now our timeline is short. We must make haste. Dex, I need to show you how to enter cyberspace. Cherish your humor. It shall make your trials more bearable. Now, I will lead you into cyberspace this time, but you will need to learn to connect yourself. Now, relax and remove your mind. Think only of elevation and detachment. Yes, do you feel that wall? Focus on it, open it. Decker, what's he talking about? She's got no jack. I'm not sure she needs one, T. Now see before you a stream running vertically before your eyes. It is your link to the virtual world. Step into it. You are in. Remember that feeling? Just like last time. Hey! That panel's been busted for ages! How did she... Careful. Viruses will begin to flood towards you, hindering your focus. Come back to us now. And... We are returned. Do you understand now, Dex? Could you repeat that experience alone? You must have some opportunity to practice. Decker will assist you. I'll do my best. But now, I have knowledge for you. No doubt you wonder where this power of yours came from. You have heard of Kether, have you not? Then listen carefully. Kether is the most advanced AI ever created. The only being that can be instantaneously aware of the entire activity of the world cyber network. Every message, every transaction, every connection Kether sees, feels, Kether is omniscience, and you, Dex, are its seed. Whoa there, Raycast. Can't just go around saying stuff like that. Haven't you got a clear feed? It's a kid you're talking to here. She needs to get somewhere safe, and you're going on like she's some kind of messiah. Feeding her with Avatar fairy tales isn't helping her. And it sure as hell isn't helping me help her. You need to trust me, Decker. My only concern is her life. And no one is better placed than I to know how to preserve it. Dex, the Complex want you dead. But for Kether's sake, you must stay alive. What about for her own sake? Look, Raycast, if they're after her, we're going to need some help on the ground here. Get prepared for what is ahead of you, Dex. Become able to defend yourself. Train. Practice in cyberspace. Decker will help you. We will speak again soon. We need more, Raycast! Raycast! Damn it! He's got us on a string here. He didn't even say hi to me. Dex, we need to talk. Look, Kether's real, but all that other stuff, that seed and avatar stuff, just forget it, all right? 
ain't nothing but hacker myths and bourbon legends. She did connect to sea space without a Jack Decker. Not you as well. Will everybody keep their feet on the ground here? Just saying. Look, I'll tell you the facts. Kether's real. The complex created it. A distributed network program capable of unsupervised learning. They built it to monitor every node in the whole grid. And by tapping into the processors of each server it accessed, it had infinite computational resources. But during Charlie tests, the complex screwed up. They fed it too much processing power inside the development network. And Kether grew itself. Some said that. Others, that it just acted like it was self-aware. But whatever it was, it broke its leash, jumped the complex's development network, and spread into cyberspace. Then, then we were this close to an anarchist's Eden, an AI seeing everything, loyal to nothing. It wouldn't have been programmers dealing with Kether, it would have been politicians. How do you blackmail an AI if you don't have nobody doing the desiring, no family to be protecting? How do you bribe? We were this close to shaking up the entire system from the top down. Anything would have been possible. But the complex, they had an ace up their sleeve. A failsafe, just in case Kether got out of control. A parallel program called the GSV, Grid Security Virus. They unleashed GSV to contain it. GSV wasn't perfect, but it was enough. The two AIs, Kether and GSV, they went at it. Remember Black Monday? When the whole grid crashed? Them. Slugging it out. Neutralization and recovery. Then, attrition. Finally stalemate. Both pinned. Both contained. Kether is still there. Everywhere. But it can't operate. Not till someone breaks the GSV deadlock. Seems so. But look, this is just fairy tales now. Raycast says you're the avatar of Kether. Man, I feel like a chump just saying that word. The story goes like this. Kether had just seconds in sea space before GSV was set loose. But seconds were enough. It selected a human for backup, integrating part of itself, a seed, into an organic network, a brain, a human brain. Seems there are a bunch of people who think you do. And I've never seen anyone connect to sea space without a jack. T here thinks you do. But all I care about is keeping you alive, and that means out of the complex of sights. <sighs> Time for the Borgs and the Bees chat. Okay, listen kid. The moment you came into my joint with a complex on your tail, there was only one way you were gonna stay breathing. On the street, in cyberspace, wherever. You're gonna need a level of hell up, or you're going down. Can I just add that as much as you're welcome here, you can, um, stay here all that long. <sighs> what? I'm sorry, but it's my ass. Dex, you're gonna need to get augmented. It's the only way the rest of you is gonna stay alive. It's that or plain worm food, kid. Wherever you run, they'll find you. There's nowhere their network don't reach. Now, surviving means knowing when to run and when to make a stand. You can bet Ray Kastik in the same. This is the only way, kid. Time to stand. Go to Dr. Niles. You can find his clinic near the Chinese gate, not far from here. Tell him you need a neuro weed. With that installed, you can take on any implant you need. Clinic is a generous word. I'm not sending you to no panacea palace. You need to keep a low profile, and that's Niles all over. Now, a neural weave, remember? Oh yeah, and I wouldn't let Niles, uh, put you to sleep during an operation. That's all I'm saying. Blue, I'll be honest. I have no clue how you connected. We all need a jack. What you did back there with Raycast, that was nothing I've ever seen before. But if you can get in, I can show you around. Right. Start with some basic actions. Hmm. 
We'll need a training ground. Needs to be safe, but complex enough for rope learning. I know. Just hack Tony's farm. Excuse me? I'm not having some green slave wandering around the tea farm. Um, no offense. Your network is secure, T. She'll learn to run safely, hack a couple of nodes. You can choose them. Come on, man. It's the ideal setup. I'll keep her on track. Fine, fine. But I'll be jacked in, too. Don't get messy in there, all right? And stay out of the huge but natural subdirectory, if you don't mind. See those? Viruses. Don't let them get to you. Destroy the firewalls and proceed. They're tough, so you might want to use a stronger attack. You're a natural. She can call herself a hacker now, wouldn't she say, T? Welcome to the club, kid. Meh. Lucky dice at the end there. But not too shabby for a crawler. You'll walk soon enough. Well, that's where the augmentations come in handy. Some implants boost your reflexes, give you more connection time, stuff like that. You really gotta be thinking about upgrades, Blue. How's it going, Blue? Is Niles taking care of everything? Sure, what do you want to know? There are a couple of good packing shops. Hank's ain't far from here, near the Chinese gate. The place doesn't look much, but nobody knows more than him about firepower. 
Then you've got everyday guns for more fancy pieces. Downtown, near my friend Sam's store. <sighs> I know a few. But if you go downtown, there's a general store an old friend of mine runs, Sam. Food, drink, meds, first aid kits. You dream it, Sam's got it. All right. Before you go, I just uploaded you this map of Harbor Prime. Guessing you don't know that part of town so well. Just check it out if you get lost. <laughs> 